The Universal Rocket or YOR family of missiles and carrier rockets is a Russian, previously Soviet rocket family. Intended to allow the same technology to be used in all Soviet rockets, the YOR is produced by the Khrunichev State Research and Production Space Center. Several variants were originally planned, of which only three flew, and only two of which entered service. In addition, the cancelled YOR-500 ICBM formed the basis for the proton carrier rocket. YOR-100 The YOR-100 and its variants e were the standard small ICBM of the Soviet Union during the Cold War. Only the UR-100N NATO reporting designation, SS-19 Stiletto remains in active duty, with 20–30 missiles operational. The Strela and rocket carrier rockets are based on the UR-100N. A number of YOR-100Ns have been earmarked for use as launch vehicles for the Avangard maneuverable re-entry vehicle. YOR-200 The YOR-200 was intended to be a larger ICBM, which could also be used as a carrier rocket. Nine test flights were made between 4 November 1963, and 20 October 1964, before the program was cancelled in favor of Mikhail Yangel's R-36 missile and Cyclone carrier rocket derivative. YOR-500 The YOR-500 was designed to be a very large ICBM, with the throw weight necessary to deliver the 50–100 to megaton Tsar bomber warhead. Under pressure from Khrushchev, the YOR-500 was reworked as a space launcher, and eventually renamed the Proton, the latest version of which is still in service as of 2018. YOR-700 The YOR-700 was Vladimir Chelomai's heavy lift entry for the Soviet moonshot. It was meant to carry cosmonauts to the Moon on a direct ascent mission in the LK-1 lunar craft. Sergei Korolev's N-1 booster and Soyuz 7K lock, LK lander were chosen instead for the mission, and it never left the drawing board. Superficially, the YOR-700 was of the well-known design of Soviet launchers with a central core stack and lateral strap on boosters. But one distinguishing feature was that the engines of the first stage were cross-fed with fuel and oxidizer from the tanks of the strap on boosters during the initial flight phase. This meant that when the boosters were spent and jettisoned, the central stack still flew with full tanks, thus reducing dead weight and increasing a possible payload. <laughs> YOR-900 The YOR-900 was the ultimate universal rocket application, a super-heavy lift launch vehicle for crewed expeditions to other planets. As such it remained a paper project. See also List of space launch system designs <laughs>